Hello everyone and welcome back. Today's video is of course the FM20 Creator Club series TSG Athletic. We're seeing what we've done since last time out. Um, so we uh, had the order shot game where we won 3-2 and if you look at um, the timings of the goal on the right there you can see we went 1-0 up, then 2-0 up, then it was 2-1, then 2-0 and then in the 91st minute Alessandro Caldara scored um, to win us the game. And then it was to Bromley where we got a 1-0 win again. Alessandro Caldara with a fairly late-ish goal in the 80th minute scoring there. And then it was Dagenham Redbridge, a one-all draw, Charles of King Frost with the only goal in that game. And then it was a game against Harrogate. And again, uh, Charles of King Frost with the only goal this time with a penalty. So two one-all draws. Hopefully we can get back to winning ways as we start off against Stockport, then Woking, then Yeovil. Um, they're the three games we're going to play today. And then we don't have long uh, left of the season. We only have a month and a half left. So um, it's definitely heating up and getting to the back end. And we're in a pretty nice position. If you look at the league here, we're definitely having our best season yet. We are currently 11 points clear. Um, and we're in a very solid position. Really, it's hard to lose now with two, just over two months to go, I think it is. We need to just keep plugging away, keep getting the wins and hopefully the title will be ours. These next three games will be pretty important really. If we can win all three, that will almost, well it won't mathematically um, give us the title but we should then comfortably be winning the title. But if we slip up in the next three games, maybe lose all three games, then Chesterfield could potentially be right back on our tails or if we drop points at all. Um, so let's get into the first game then. Just before we do get into that first game, there's a little bit of news here. I have now completed the Continental C license, um, which is good. It means I'm a bit more qualified manager now. So hopefully as we make the step up through the leagues, I've got a bit more um, ability and maybe reputation. Maybe we can now do the next one um, as well. Right now, choosing the team to play against Stockport. I'm going to go with Charles Akeem Frost, Kaldara up front, uh, Reese Crane on the left. We'll then have the two Myers Co's will start in the middle for today. Uh, well, Pichardo. And we'll keep that back for the same. Actually, what I'm going to do is bring in uh, Abdele Digne for this one. And we'll submit the team and get into the game. Come on, TSG Athletic. Here we go, we're underway. It's important we start off quick. And I do actually want to just talk about something quickly. Um, as you're probably aware, I've said it in my last couple of videos, I'm now starting to stream on Twitch. And um, it's twitch.tv forward slash the TSG plays. Um, and I'm hopefully going to be streaming quite a few times a week now. I'm just going to see what Henry Mars code does here. Reese Crane, go on. Oh, good save. But yeah, I'm going to be streaming a couple of times now um, a week maybe even every day if I can. Um, and I definitely want to do an FM20 stream only save. So I won't be uh, appear on YouTube or anything like that, but I want to do it just for um, the Twitch viewers and to stream. Uh, but I'm not sure what team to use. So if you've got a suggestion of who I should do the save with, um, then please do comment it below. I don't mind starting in a you know a more obscure Swedish league doing like a journeyman or just starting with a championship side or a league two or maybe even a Premier League team whatever you guys want me to do or what you guys think comment it down below um, and what I'll do is then every suggestion I get I'll put into a poll and then we'll do a little vote on which one I should do for the stream save anyway but yeah it was a disappointing half there um, we're going to maybe make a get creative shout. We're on top in terms of the stats here, but we haven't taken a chance yet. Half an hour to go. I'm going to bring Charles King Frost off for Goddess Sandy. Just going to demand more now. Oh, Rita Crane puts the ball in. Axel Becker, Joe Myers, co offside. Oh, I thought that was it. I thought he'd scored. That's a bit more promising though, at least we're getting a chance. Next sub, I'm going to bring Pablo Jones onto the right midfield position for Andy Pichardo. 15 minutes to go, can we please get a winner? Here we go, highlight. <clears throat> Let's not concede. Reese Crane, Muller. Oh, that's a great ball. Go on, Caldara. Lays it back. Reese Crane, Joe Myersco. 
Got a Sandy. Oh, and he hits it wide. That would have been a lovely goal. And it would have left not much time for Stockport to get back into the game either. We're going to bring Nobunaga on for Joe Marsco for the last couple of minutes. Wow, a very boring 0-0 to start things off. Henry Myersco getting man of the match there. Unfortunately, yeah, that was disappointing. So we are just going to jump straight into the Woking game after this. I feel like a uh, change of formation is definitely needed after that one. Um, what I'm going to do is have uh, Nobunaga come in for Joe Myersco. We'll keep Henry Myersco in for this game. Um, Pichardo... On the right, we'll have uh, Harvey Thompson down the middle. <clears throat> and then we'll have Aaron Aberg on the left as an attacking winger. And then the striker will be Pablo Jones. There we go. Let's go. I think that might be a highlight of kickoff. Let's see, hopefully it's for us. Aaron Aberg, go on. Pichardo, crosses Aaron Aberg. Yes, he scores within 18 seconds. Wow, that's got to be the fastest goal we've had in this uh, journey with TSG Athletic. Surely this goal goes down in history. Aaron Aberg crosses, the defender misses it. Pichardo puts it back into the box. Aaron Aberg, great header. And it was an 18 seconds that went in. Great stuff. Good start. Right, next highlight. 17 minutes in. I'm playing out from the back. Come on, let's put some pressure on. Make a tackle. Oh, he's forced a mistake anyway. Becker, over the top. Oh, Casey coming down the wing. He goes all the way back. Oh, they've gone all the way back. Vaughan. Great pass. Reason, no. Yes, Carrius. Good save. Made himself big and just caught the ball easily. Lovely stuff. Woking actually don't seem to be that bad. Look, if you look at the stats there, you could say maybe just on top at the moment. But luckily that 18-second goal... <laughs> Keeps us in the lead at the moment. Right, into the second half now. And we've got three defenders out of four on bookings. Um, that's a bit worrying. Hopefully we don't get a red card because that could cost us the game. But here's a highlight. Pichardo. Henry Myersco. Oh, we give the ball away so easily there. He's through on goal. Carrius with another save. What? He's been definitely keeping us in this game. McGregor on the corner. Get rid of it. Oh, it's gone over everyone. That'll do. I am going to make a sub now. Cold Dara will come on up top. I will move Pablo Jones onto the right-hand side. And I think that'll be it for now. 20 minutes to go. I think I'm going to make the last sub. I'm going to take Henry Myersco off for Joe Myersco. Um, and we'll keep him as a uh, deep lying playmaker. There we go. All subs made. We just got to see this one out for the last 15 minutes. I'm going to drop to cautious as soon as it hits 80 minutes. There we go. This is all we can do. Watch for the last couple of minutes. Hopefully, we, a second goal would be lovely. Digne, come on. Becker, all the way back. Just waste time, Carrius. Just stand there. Nice. Oh, that's good football. Let's not lose it, though. Let's get up the pitch. Oh, no. I saw that one coming. Gray. Casey. Crosses. Oh, he hits the bar. We got away with it there. And Siri was... <laughs> Oh, come on, not now. That'll do. Becca, I know you've just taken a red card, but you've taken one for the team there. <laughs> I, I, I'm happy he's done that, to be honest. I'm not annoyed at all. 
right we need to move the positions around just a little bit so we actually have some defensive cover there we go come on yes there we go one nil win it was a very scrappy one an 18 second goal from Aaron Aberg and then a lot of bookings for us and then Becker did get sent off but he did take a guy out just on the halfway line and it looked like there was no defenders behind Becker so um, I'm fairly happy that he had to do that but nonetheless that's a very good win yeah Look, Aaron Abo's goal 18 seconds into the match is a new TSG record so it goes down in the record books All right, team selection of course uh, Oliver Winder will come in um, due to Becker's red card there um, we're going to put Mark Emmanuel Garcia in for Harvey Thompson um, I think I want to put uh, Carl Bark oh, Kyle Barkley isn't exactly 100% fit I'll put Reese Crane in for this one as a winger, uh, we will change the striker to Kaldara. Actually, we're going to put Charles Akeem Frost up there. We're going to play him as a target man. He kind of needs to go as an attacking target man. Uh, we'll keep Pichardo on the right. We will change Henry for Joe for this game. We'll play Joe as a more advanced playmaker. And defensively, we'll bring back in Michael Longyear. And that's how we'll start the game. Come on! Alright, we started. We're going to go to positive uh, for this game. Yeovil are probably the most... Oh no. Windows given away a penalty within six minutes. Right, come on, Karius. Oh, no, that's a good penalty. You're not saving that. What I was going to say is Yeovil probably the best team we're going to face this episode. They're doing okay in the league and they're already 1-0 up. Let's demand more of our players here. We go Barrett into Garcia. Nice. Nobunaga. Reese Crane. Ooh. Lost the ball there. Looks like it could be another highlight to Yeovil as they come forward here. Murphy, yep, and he scores. That's his 24th goal of the season. Wow. Reese Murphy, wow, I didn't realise there was someone scoring that many goals every week. That is a lot of goals. Nine of them are penalties, which is a lot. Um, but still, we're just going to have to go attacking, I think. We've got nothing to lose now. We're 2-0 down. We may as well just go for it. Hopefully we get a reaction from the players in the second half. Here we go. Reese Crane. Ball into the box. Oliver Windle. Oh, he heads it over. That would have been a chance to make up for the penalty. Here come Yeovil. Yes, good header. No... There we go, he's got his hat-trick, 25th of the season. And I think our defence and just haven't been able to deal with Reese Murphy today. Fair play to him, he's had a very good game. They've had three shots and three goals. We've had 11 and not scored yet, so he's taken his chances. We haven't, that's what it's come down to. I'm going to make a triple sub. Henry Myers Coe's coming on for uh, Nobunaga here. Um... We will then bring Pablo Jones on for Andy Pichardo and we will put Alessandro Caldara up top. And I'm just going to go uh, ultra attacking, I think. Very attacking there and see what happens. And then demand more of the players as well. Oh, I can't get there. Oh, I'll just have to wait. Again, though, it looks like the highlights for Yeovil. And, wow, they are playing unbelievable. He's missed that chance, though. It's the first one they've missed all game. Here's Michael Longyear. Come on, can we at least get a goal, please? I want to see a goal this game for us. Pablo Jones. Get at him. Nice. 
Good ball. Oh, and it's cleared. Here's Henry Myersco, though. Picks it up. Keeps it. Does well. Gets it back. Go on. That was a bit ambitious. Now Gibbings has got it, and it looks like they might be through again. Reese Murphy, let's not let him get four. Oh, he's finally missed a shot. I don't know what he was even thinking to shoot from there, but he's already scored a three past us, so we can't say much. And, I mean, it's a bit embarrassing, but hopefully we can get a consolation goal here. Kaldara heads it wide. And there it is. 3-0 loss, Reese Murphy hat-trick. He was just too good for us. He had four shots and scored three goals. We had 13 across the game and couldn't score at all. That's the problem. We just didn't take any of our chances. And it was a horrible performance. But in the scheme of things, it means that... that what was it, the leader, when we started the episode? We had a 11-point lead, I believe. And now... We only have a six-point lead. So, like I said, these, these three games that I put in this episode were really crucial to um, seeing whether we either increase the gap massively or the gap gets closed quite a bit. And now, you know, any slip-ups, I'm sure Chesterfield will be ready to take their chance. Um, but we're still in a good position. Obviously, we're top of the league, six points to go. We're getting closer to winning the league. Um, and let's have a look who we've got left in the schedule. So we have uh, Solihull Moors, uh, Moors, sorry, Maidenhead, Chelmsford, Barnet, Eastleigh. And then I will be play next episode I will be coming back and we'll be playing Hartlepool, Chesterfield, Sutton. Uh, this Chesterfield game might even have a lot on it, seen as their second place. But hopefully we'll have the title wrapped up after this Sutton game and we'll be going up to League 2. That's the dream anyway. But overall, not the best of episodes. Stockport, pretty boring, nil-nil. Uh, Woking, again, it wasn't too convincing, but a good three points. Three points, a uh, win is a win, I'll take it. And then Yeovil, um, Reese Murphy just probably had one of the games of the season there. Well, let's have a look uh, how far ahead he is, his top goal scorer, because I assume he is. Yeah, he is. Look, he's... Uh, Eight goals ahead of second place. Charles Akeem Frost is in third place and is 11 goals behind him. So this guy is un unbelievable for this level at scoring goals. Anyway, that is it for this episode. If you did enjoy, please do smash the like button, subscribe to the channel. Remember to comment down below what you'd like to see or what you think I should do my stream save um, as. Anyway, I've been the TSG. Goodbye.